before I was in my present position, I had the good fortune of serving with Phil Nolan on the uh, county legislature. And having gotten to know Phil, I a little sideways with one of my friends for him to be late for his own inauguration. But um, I got in there about a quarter to ten, and there was Phil, so we're off to a good start. <laughs> And Chris had said to me, you know, Steve, you know, when I was a Republican, we didn't have this type of pageantry after an election. I said, Chris, after being in power for a hundred years, I guess you get a little blasé after a while. <laughs> Some of these guys want to party, you know, after a little bit. And pretty much that game last night, what am I gonna I thought they were gonna pull it through, I really did. And, you know, uh, probably if we would have had some I'll tell you a secret about Steve Levy. Uh, every once in a while, Steve and his wife Colleen and my wife Marlene and I go out for dinner. Uh, some four people uh, sitting at a dinner. Three of us are enjoying the meal. One is figuring out how you split the bill four ways and how you get the sales tax down. <laughs> I have last licks at the microphone. I don't mind being called cheap as a county executive. That's a good thing. But from a personal perspective, I do pick up the check. It's the last time I will do so for Congressman Israel. You don't know the story about Congressman Israel and his beeper, do you? Israel let you think his beeper is for real important things. Those Speaker Pelosi is keeping me. There's another war that broke out. Well, it's funny how it always seems to be another war breaking out when the check comes to the table. <laughs>